it is 11 a.m. Already 79 degrees. Feels like 84 with 80% humidity. It is sticky out here today. But today I'm going to do a quick homestead update and we are gonna give you a first peek at the baby bunnies one week old. But before I show you the bunnies, I'm gonna show you all the new chickies that we got overnight. I'm so excited. We have a total of 21 chickens plus the duckling. Sweet babies, taking a snooze. All right, let's take a peek. Oh, they're so wiggly. There we go. They got pumpkin's face. Mm -hmm. Look at the little toofs. There we go. Oh my gosh. I can't even. Oh my goodness. Look at that one. It's spotty like Oreo, but it's got pumpkins colors. Look at it. So this is more solid than the other one, but it's still broken up here. I love that they have her markings with his colors. That's so awesome. Are the black ones just solid black? This one is, I haven't seen the other one. So we got all black. Be calm, stop eating popcorn. <laughs> They're not popcorn. All Two black. solid black. They all got daddy's face. They do. They all look like pumpkin doodle. <laughs> look at the little doofs. You see them? They think they're popcorn. Careful, they're wiggly. another tan one. So we have what, two solid tan, two solid black, and two. Okay, we got three, two broken. Three, three broken. Three broken? Mm hmm. And then two tan and two black. So now I'm going to head into the garden. I'm going to show you guys all the progress we've made and how big our sprouts have gotten. So I've moved my hanging pot with my pansies here on the garden instead of the porch. And then I restarted my own seeds in this one. And I've got alyssum doing really, really well. Strawberries are doing great. Yesterday, Lewis had to add some um, trim wood across the front and the back because something already tried to break in and ripped up a great portion of the chicken wire. So he restapled the chicken wire down and he put the trim wood there. Um, he screwed it in so that way nothing could try to break in again. But if you look over here, we've already got our first strawberry with many more on the way. And if you look closely, all of the onions that I planted among my strawberries are just starting to sprout. Our friends brought us this accidental pumpkin sprout that they had in a cup at their house. And so she thought she'd bring it to see if it would survive. And it has grown significantly. When she brought it over, it was just like down here with one little leaf. 
it's doing pretty well. So on the hoop trellis bed, we've got a ton of cucumbers. We've got our okra sprouted, okra right there as well. More cucumbers along the edge. In the middle, I have sprinkled my wildflower mix and I am super excited to see these in full bloom. Lots of cool stuff in this mix. We've got these, and then we've got these cute wispy ones. Some of my marigold has sprouted and is doing really well. More okra over here on this side and across the way over there. And then along this side, more cucumbers. In beds eight and nine, the peas are doing phenomenal. I weeded these beds yesterday, they were loaded. So they're cleaned up nice. But look how big they've gotten. Onions are doing well, growing taller, getting greener. And then along the trellis wall where me and Gabby planted we have got a ton of beans going our mint from last year grew back and our wild growing cat mint is doing really well. Lewis is currently working on cleaning up the rest of our buckets and what we do is we plant in them and then we put one at the end of each of our garden beds. So today was transplant day for all of our squash. I have found over the years of gardening that the worst pest in the garden are squash bugs. You can spray, you can try to make up mixtures for your soil that will repel them. You can egg check every day, you can kill them on site, but they are invasive. So the best way that I have found to deter squash bugs in droves is by companion planting. So I've put all of my zucchini and my yellow squash amidst my peas. So what I did was I dug holes in my garden beds I added a little bit of potting mix to each hole. Then I added the transplants, covered them with a little bit of potting mix, and then I used the excess dirt to create small mounds. So at the ends of this bed, I have the dark green zucchini. And in the middle, I have my golden squash. And then at the end, middle, and opposite end of this bed are all zucchini. Next, I will direct sow nasturtium seeds and the peas, squash, and nasturtiums will work together to bring in the beneficial insects and drive away the harmful pests. The next thing to prep is gonna be our watermelon patch. We bought this bale of straw to cover the ground and we're going to get our transplants out here very, very soon.